Hi, I'm Jada. I'm a 23 year old software engineer and I'm here to answer your question that you have about software engineering and anything of the sort. So first, I want to give a shout out to this beautiful human right here. Her name is Raylan and she's actually the person who suggested that I do this video and someone who provided a majority of the questions that I'm going to be answering for this video. I also posted on my TikTok asking you guys if you had any more questions for me. So I also wrote those down and I'm going to be answering those. And yeah, I'm super excited to be filming this video. I hope that this video can help some people. So I just want to add in a little disclaimer before I get into the questions. Obviously, I'm pretty young. I'm 23 years old and I haven't been working in this actual software engineering industry for too long, only about a year now. But I have been through college courses and everything, so I also want to give advice about that. So maybe take my advice with a grain of salt. I also just wanted to answer these questions from the perspective of someone newer in the industry. I know that there are a bunch of other great software engineering focused YouTubers that have a lot of experience in the industry. So I would suggest going to their channels as well to see what they say. But I thought it'd be fun to give my perspective on um, these questions because I just really hope I can help some people and I love talking about this stuff. Again, I don't have that much experience but like I'm here to help in whatever way possible. So I also want to start off this video by kind of telling you that, that I am not some like very naturally gifted programmer or anything like that. I know that there are a good amount of people out there that coding just comes to them very naturally and it seems like they're just like a genius at everything and that's not me i worked very hard to kind of get at the skill level that i'm at right now and i'm still working really hard every day to to improve my skill set but i just wanted to put that out there because i have watched youtube videos like this before about like software engineering content in general and i've always felt like the person who's making the video that they're that person like they've always just been so good at coding it's always been so natural to them and not to say that they didn't work hard to get at their skill set or anything that's just like how i always felt you know it's like it's never that that's probably like never had been the case but that's just like how i always felt like watching those videos so i want to emphasize like it's hard and i worked really hard for it to be at the level that i'm at right now and if you're in that boat you need to realize that like with every project you're doing with every class you're taking you're like slowly getting like better and better i look back at my years in college and even like throughout the past year that i've been working and i'm like wow i have grown so much and i didn't even realize it at the time so if you're in this boat just know that you're growing and that you're going to get there and it's not a race i always felt like that in college i felt like i never compared to my peers i felt like i was never good enough but like i'm here and i have a job that i love and i feel like i'm growing my technical skill set every day i just want to let you know that you're not alone and that you can do it and it's it's really possible if you really want it so i just wanted to start off the video like that i'm sorry that was so rambly and ranty i just felt the need to say that okay so now it is time to get into the questions so the first question is did you go to college or a boot camp and i went to college i went to uc irvine and i studied computer engineering did you know what you wanted to major in or did you have to maneuver around and see what interested you i definitely have always known what i want to major in i feel like i'm a very very special case and it's kind of hard to explain but for some reason, ever since I was little, I knew I wanted to work in technology or something of the sort. When I was like, I don't know, maybe like eight years old, I'd be on the computer like making like Microsoft PowerPoint presentations for fun, writing up Word documents for fun, like just loving to be on the computer. And I don't, I don't know why, but I like genuinely like clearly remember looking at the computer screen and being like, how is this like even working how is this even a thing so i've always been fascinated by computers ever since i was young there is even like this home video of me i used to do piano so i went and did a piano recital and as like you go up they say your name and like what you want to be when you grow up so they were like oh this is jada and like she wants to be a computer programmer when she grows up and i had never seen that video before until a couple years ago and i was like 
how did I even know I wanted to be a computer programmer? Like I definitely did not know what that was at that age. I'm sure my parents just like wrote that down for me because they knew I wanted to do something that had to do with computers. But yeah, I don't know. I've just, I've just always known. And as I started to look into colleges and into like what I wanted to major in, I started to understand more what it actually like consists of. Um, but yes, I have always known that I wanted to kind of be a software engineer, I guess. It's kind of crazy to me. Was making friends hard? Yes and no. So the first year of college, my freshman year, I did not have any friends in my classes. I did have friends like outside of my classes that I made like in my dorm hall, but I did not make any friends in my classes really. The only friend I had was this one other girl that I would sit in with class because obviously like the major is very male dominated so I would tend to gravitate towards the females in my class. So I had this friend and she was super sweet so we'd sit together in class but other than that like I didn't really have friends. I really just like kept to myself and honestly that was a huge mistake because when you have friends in classes, I never really realized like you can study together, you could do homework together, you can help each other through the class. So it wasn't until my second year I made friends in my classes. What happened was like one of the students in my classes made like a Facebook group for like everyone in our like computer engineering class. So I joined that Facebook group and we were doing a group project and I posted on there saying like I needed to be in someone's group for the group project and people reach out to me and I joined the group and like that's how I became friends with my my lifelong friends that I have now just put yourself out there everyone is in the same boat sometimes what I would do is I would just like sit next to someone or someone would sit next to me and I'd be like hey like what do you think about this class or hey what did you think about the homework or the quiz or whatever so don't be afraid to put yourself out there making friends in your classes is really important if you want help studying help with assignments stuff like that what pcs and computers do you currently have so in college, I used a Mac um, for basically like all of my college career and for work, I also use a Mac. Any kind of like operating system or whatever is gonna work, but I would recommend having a computer with a good amount of storage on it because my MacBook Air that I had throughout college did not have a sufficient amount of storage and that became a problem at some points when I was like downloading programs and stuff. Which was a more difficult course, electrical engineering or computer science? So. Again, like I majored in computer engineering and if you don't really know what that is, if you look at it like a spectrum, computer science is here, computer engineering is in the middle and then electrical engineering is at the end. So computer engineering is kind of like a mix of computer science and electrical engineering, a mix of like software and hardware. For me personally, electrical engineering courses were harder and maybe I just wasn't as interested in them because I knew that I wasn't really going to use those classes or that knowledge in my career. Don't get me wrong, I did really enjoy learning about the things that I learned about in those electrical engineering courses, but they were harder for me. But I think it just depends on the person because I know some people who were better at the electrical engineering class and the computer science classes. Do you have to love math to be a software developer? I mean, you don't have to love math, I think. I think you just have to be able to do it. In just like regular like software engineering like day to day, for me personally, I don't use any complicated math. If you're majoring in college, I know that computer engineering, we had a math course every quarter for the first two years. But I think at my school, computer science had less math classes. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that, but do you have to love math? You don't have to love it, I just think you just, you know, have to be able to get through it. Since this is a male dominant field, were there any women in some of your upperclassmen classes? Not really, I could really count the number of girls in my class on one hand. So the ratio was poor, but I never felt like inferior or I never was like mistreated by the males in my class. It is a really male dominated field but it really didn't bother me and it kind of really didn't affect me I guess because I was always treated nice and people treated me nice I treated them nice so there weren't really any problems with that per se. The one thing I will say is I remember one time I walked into a classroom and it was like a really nasty like musty classroom and I just like remember walking in and it just smelled so bad because there's just like so many like stinky boys <laughs> in there. Um, so 
yeah but usually like if you're in a big lecture hall it doesn't really smell but when you're in a little like musty discussion room it can it can kind of get bad sometimes so that's a little con did you join any organizations while in college no <laughs> i did not i have never ever been a club slash sport slash organization person i don't know why i've never liked clubs i did join the society of women engineers like my freshman year but like i never went i like barely participated so i wouldn't even count that if you are looking for an easy way to make friends and meet people with similar interests than you then yes i would 100 percent recommend joining clubs i know that usually at every university there's like a club rush day where all the clubs have a booth and you can like sign up so would definitely recommend that if you are a club type person and the last college related question i'm going to answer is how hard was college it was hard <laughs> on a scale from one to ten i don't know maybe a ten obviously i'm out of it now but like i remember there was so many nights where i was like crying i'm probably going to be inserting a bunch of clips of like me crying and just me like suffering over this audio right now like i definitely noticed how much more time consuming my major was definitely kind of takes a toll on your social life i feel like i balanced it like pretty well but I grinded so hard so I could like have that balance and have that social life and I even like worked a part-time job for a little bit Ugh, there was this one class we had like 40 hour plus coding assignments due every two weeks like I was like dude 40 hours like 40 hours is the amount of time someone do like does work in a week like a nine to five like 40 hour project in two weeks and I have like all these classes on top of it. Like when the professor said that, I was like, excuse me. And it was like 40 hours, like minimum. Like he was like, this is probably gonna take like minimum 40 hours. It definitely took me longer. Um, yeah, that I was suffering. Um, but here we are. It made me have a really good work ethic, honestly, and helped me really learn how to organize my time and also just balance my life. Um, so it's hard, but it's worth it and you can do it how can i get into software engineering so if you're in college or about to get into college or even if you're doing like a career switch into software engineering i would definitely recommend first taking some sort of like class so if you're in college maybe like an intro to programming class and then maybe if you're transitioning to into software engineering maybe like a, a udemy course or even like a community college class that's personally what i would recommend because i'm a very school oriented person like deadlines and like tests and grades like that really motivates me to get something done and to learn something so i feel like like that added pressure of like a grade a test an assignment it will really help you determine if like this is something that you you want to do and if this is something that like you really care about but if you're not like a, a school oriented person then i would just say like look up like a udemy course or even a free tutorial on youtube there's a bunch and just see if you even like programming if you take the class and you're like oh like i'm not good at this like i would even recommend to take like one or two more classes to really determine it because even after my first programming class i was like uh like i don't know if i can do this um so i recommend taking a couple classes making a couple projects to see if coding is something you want to do for a career and then from there either major in computer science or computer engineering or something of that sort if you want to be a software engineer i would recommend majoring in computer science or if you're trying to do a career switch and you're not planning on going back to college i would recommend a boot camp i've never attended a boot camp but i also know that there are a bunch of youtubers um for example this one youtuber that i really like her name's Mariko. she has really great content about like how you can switch into a career in tech so i'd watch that how did you study leak code what language do you recommend for coding when i was studying leak code i studied in java but i also know that python's a really good like beginner programming language so if you don't know which one then probably python and then as to like how i studied leak code i hated leak code honestly like it made me feel so discouraged and so like uh. um but the way that i would study it is 
So for me, what I would do, I would take like a handful of questions. I would pick like maybe like five leak code questions that you think are good, like potential interview candidates. And I would really try to just understand the reasoning behind the answer. So first I would try to attempt to solve the problem. And then I usually couldn't solve the problem. So I would go look at the answer. And then once I look at the answer, I would really, really, really try to understand why the answer is the answer. Also, if I ever got like elite code problem in my interview and I had never come across it before and I failed the interview, um, I would always just like go back and add that one to my list. So yeah, I did not like lead code. It's hard, but like you, it's just something you have to do. How to get an internship slash job. So one thing I would recommend is going to like career fairs. At my school, we had like STEM specific career fairs. So like look out for those at your schools if you're in college right now. And then also if your school offers some sort of custom like job application service, like for example, at UC Irvine, we had Handshake. You could use that to apply to jobs because those are a little more like attuned for people who are in college or just like newly graduating and then also just like keep your LinkedIn profile updated and good because like the way I got my current job right now is like a recruiter like reached out to me because they saw my LinkedIn profile what is your job status as of now in the work field so for the past year I was like an associate software engineer but I recently got promoted to just like regular software engineer which is really cool. I've grown literally so much as an engineer like the past year like it's crazy like it's literally been like exponential it kind of blows my mind sometimes and i didn't even realize it as i was going through it but yeah i'm super excited to see like how much i'll grow like within this next year do you thank yourself for taking down this choice of field for where you are today a hundred percent i'm so grateful for me like four three two one years ago that i was working so hard in her computer engineering courses now i have this like foundation and this career and that like makes me so happy to have and i just i can't like describe how accomplished i feel and how proud of myself i feel because it was so hard it was so 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 hard and like i never thought i would be at the point that i am now but i'm here you guys it definitely pays off it's definitely worth it like all of your hard work is going to be worth it and that is all of the questions that i have to answer today i hope this was helpful to you in some way shape or form i absolutely love talking about this stuff and love talking about my experience so if you have any more questions like leave them down below i will try to answer them in the comments or if there's like a ton of questions i may just do like a whole part two to this video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you want yeah if you are trying to become a software engineer right now just know you can literally do it i i don't know how i'm here so i know you can do it i believe in you all right, I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye.